Hey everybody, hey everybody, this is Josh. Uh, today I'm talking about a Sidor. This is a, um, this is Art Scroll. I talked about the other Art Scroll one, uh, earlier. It's for the uh, everyday use for the weekday. Um, this is uh, for Shabbat and for festivals. So it's got all the different festivals in here. Uh, love Art Scroll. It's nice. It's all transliterated. Um, it's the only ones I buy because I don't read Hebrew that well. Unfortunately, I wish I did. I can speak a little bit. Um, I can read a little bit and that's, if I go to read it though, I'm just stumbling through it. I'm just, just crawling. And so, uh, to me, I think it's more important to get the transliterated, spend the money, get something I'm going to use, you know, um, I mean, it is what it is. I, uh, if I can't read Hebrew that quickly, then no reason for me to struggle through it and, and not, not enjoy, um, time in prayer and not to enjoy, um, you're not to feel that feel that close because I'm so worried about reading it, not knowing what I'm saying. And so, to me, it's important to know what you're saying and be able to say it properly. And so, um, I know that I can say it. It's uh, this is Ashkenazi. So it's around Ashkenaz right there on the. Can you see it? Uh, there it is, right there. Boop. Um, and most of the pronunciations I'm uh, reform, and so most of the pronunciations at our uh, synagogue are Sephardic. A, lot, a few of the older people still say the Orthodox or the Ashkenaz, um, Ashkenazi uh, pronunciation. And that's okay. It's not that it's wrong. It's just different than what I do and what I like and what we do. Um, if you go to Orthodox, you're more than likely going to see um, or hear the, uh, hear the uh, Ashkenazi pronunciation, uh, which is Adonoi and uh, Shabbos, or, or Shabbos. And, uh, you know, instead of saying Shabbat Shalom, they'll say uh, Gut Shabbos. So... And it's, it's not that it's wrong. It's not wrong at all. It's it's not wrong or right. It's just, it is what it is. Um, you know, uh, I don't look down my nose at uh, somebody because they pronounce something differently than I do. My goodness, I live in America. I mean, go down to the South, people pronounce things differently all the time. I don't look down my nose at them. It is what it is, you know. Just, it's life. But this is a great little uh, Sidor. And it's, I like it. It's very durable. Very uh, nice hardback. Um, it's nice to, oh, I didn't notice that little crease in there. That's weird. I don't think it was like that when I got it. That's weird. Anyway, normally it wouldn't have that on there, but, um, hmm. Anyway, um, you can open it up here and you can see it's got the, um, here, let's find it here. we got this side over here. You can see it's got the Hebrew over here. It's got the um, transliterator right there. And you can see underneath, this is what you're actually saying when you say, this is the Hebrew letters, this is this is the Hebrew written out in English letters, transliterated. And this is actually what you're saying when you say this, or you can say that. And uh, I like the lettering, it's very uh, nice. The, uh, the Hebrew is written out very easily to read, or very easy to read. The uh, transliterated English is very easy to read. The, uh, the English translation is very easy to read, very nice and uh, nice and crisp. Some of them I've seen are just kind of squiggly and just don't look <clears throat> very easy to read. Uh, some of the uh, transliterated. And, you know, I don't care for them personally. But that's my opinion. One thing I like about this art school also is you go to the beginning. They've got a whole section here usually. Here we go. And then my weekday one does. Here, see, has all the different backgrounds of the different prayers you're going to say. Um, talks about the book. Talks about the different services. Talks about the different times and <clears throat> all this stuff. It's a great book. It's a great It's a great book for the reference um, in it. Like I said, talks about the different prayers. Talks about the different blessings. Talks about um, a lot. Talks about a lot. And it's Art Scroll. Um, I trust Art Scroll quite a bit as far as the translation. Uh, from what I've heard, they're very good. They're very uh, accurate. Um, and I highly recommend, like I said, I've got the, um, this is the Shabbat and the, uh, festivals and this, um, the other one I have is the weekday and I like them. I really like them a lot. I like uh, being able to read something and say it in Hebrew, even though I can't read Hebrew that quickly and I'm working on it. Uh, but you know, this way I can, I can, I don't have to worry about whether I'm saying something properly or I'm not saying something properly. And I like it that I can read this. I don't have to struggle. I can look right, right below it. I can read the line and look right below it. And I can see exactly what I'm saying. And I love that. I love knowing what I'm saying. I'm a kind of a nitty gritty kind of guy, though. I like to know what I'm doing. I like to know how things work. I like to know why this and why that. So it's right up my alley. So um, fantastic book. I highly recommend it if you are new to Judaism. Um, 
if you're just curious if uh, you've got um, if you're going to visit uh, a synagogue, especially an Orthodox synagogue, um, and you want to know what they're saying, what they're praying about, yeah, it's a great it's a great book. Um, even if you um, most of the time, if you go to like our synagogue, we have we use um, uh, Mishkan Tefillah, I believe is what it is, and um, big blue book, and several of them sitting out. So uh, we always grab one as we're going to um, sit, and um, you know they have plenty of them there, and they're all transliterated. But not everybody has transliterated, and everybody has stuff with translation underneath. So this is kind of a nice book, and 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 you know if you want to do it during the day, and you don't have a copy at your house. It's it's nice you can. Um, pick it up and you can do your morning prayers and you can do your um, your prayers on Shabbat and and uh, if there's some festival you've got it right here you've got all the prayers and all the blessings right here so it's nice I mean it, you know it doesn't hurt to have one at your house so um, uh, highly recommend it it's great it's easy to read it's uh, got the transliteration right there it's got uh, the Hebrew right there it's all very nice and very easy to read I mean you saw you saw the printing in it earlier it's got a lot of the history of the prayers and the blessings and everything it tells what's going on um, great product fantastic product uh, in fact I've got another one on sale, uh, on sale. <laughs> I've got another one on the way that I bought on Amazon I buy a lot of stuff on Amazon and um, this is the um, I believe it's called the Humash and um, it is a um, it's got the Tanakh and it's got the Megillos and and all that uh, all the different books every different festivals you know Ruth and and Esther and all that and it's got it all in, in one book and I got the bigger version we got the full-size version because uh, my eyes are uh, I'm 41 my eyes are still doing okay but you know who knows how long it's gonna last so I uh, figured I better invest in something I can read and this is this is nice because you can see how the wording is spaced and how big it is and everything I'll be able to read this you know even later on uh, if, if I start to get a little more far-sighted so um, I'm investing in things I can read later on um, like I said the prints nice uh, the other one the prints nice so um, highly recommend it.